Hi, I'm Scott. Aiden. Leo. Lindsay. Animesh. Alec. Brooke. Sky. Preston. Michael. Rodney. Sherry. Colin. Luke. Nico. Matia. Mia. Island. Clara. It's your boy John Barron. Thanks for tuning in, and you're your podcast. Great job. In a world where the only constant is change, it can be hard to choose a career that's right for you. That's where we come in. Welcome to Career Conversations. Each episode will take a deep dive into a different profession to help you navigate the ever-evolving job market. From healthcare technology, finance to the arts, we've got you covered. This is not your average career advice. This is real talk from real professionals. So buckle up and get ready to be inspired because this is Career Conversations. Hey Wildcats, as you can see today, we're at the construction site. All right, I'm here with Mrs. Kerbrat. All right, Mrs. Kerbrat, can you tell us what today's all about and how students can get involved? This was the Mich Michigan Construction Career Days event that we've hosted. This is the fifth time nobody's come to this. We, bring we brought 30 students here today to explore all the different trades in the state of Michigan. So everybody gets to do a hands-on fun day of trying everything out. It's concrete finishing here. We're replacing the slab here in the uh, in the driveway. My dad was a construction worker, and um, that's how I got into the field. Yeah, I've been doing um, road work, sidewalks, curves, commercial roads, and um, things of that nature for over 25 years now. Showing some demolition is what we're, what we're showing today, right? And we do a lot of different things, pipeline, concrete, road work, asbestos removal, so on and so forth. So there's a lot of different opportunities uh, in our trade. All right, now, a person who would want to get started in this entry level, talk to me. How would they make their money, and what did the entry level of salaries start? Yeah, so uh, the entry level would be right between uh, 18 and 20, um, and we, we have an apprenticeship. So you would uh, you could go online or make a call up to the training center and uh, apply to get into our apprenticeship and kind of go from there. Like I said, you would be around 18 to 20. Um, once you top out and get your journeyman scale, you're going to be closer to the 25 to 30 dollar range, depending on the type of work you're doing and the area you're in. So uh, a young man or woman that starts at 18 years old, they're going to be able to retire at 48 with a pension for the rest of their life. So, so we take a lot of pride in that. And then also the insurance, right? So you get a great insurance package um, to go with the pay on the check and the pension uh, when you're in the labor's union. Uh, being in this business, I was actually able to get licensed as a professional surveyor. Um, and so that allows me to, uh, to manage survey crews and, uh, and run my own business if I really wanted to in uh, land surveying. We're a unique field and in really high demand right now. So, All right, so we're here with? Gretchen Whitver. All right, Gretchen. So what is your advice to them? Well, there is a path to prosperity for every person in this state. We all got different skills, we all got different paths, but every one of us deserves a good job that pays us enough we can take care of our families and live a great quality of life here in Michigan. The trades is an excellent option, and this is cutting edge work, um, cutting edge skills, and this is the future of our economy. Yeah, great. going on Novi and welcome back to Up and Coming. Sorry for being a little late, but we only have two things, both within the same franchise, technically speaking. I'm actually pretty excited about it. Let's just let's just show you real quick. For the movies, we have Star Wars Return of the Jedi returning to theaters on April 28th for their 40th anniversary. And on the same day, we have Star Wars Jedi Survivor also coming tomorrow for the 40th anniversary. I'm going to see the movie and I'm going to play the game. So I'm excited. So to all those that, all those that like Star Wars, hope you enjoy these two. Happy 40th anniversary. May the force be with you. BPA is Business Professionals of America. It's uh, for people who want to have like entrepreneurial style, like finance, accounting, marketing, try and get into like a career type job. It's pretty fun. You do like these events. We get to go to places. Recently, we went to uh, U of M for business accounting like a uh, venture. 
we're hosting a uh, mock interview where you can come in and act out an interview. People should go to this event because it's pretty good for you because we'll be getting adults who have many experience in this in interviews and stuff. So if you guys come, it would be pretty it'd be pretty good for you, your uh, resumes, application for college, and when you get a job, it would be pretty easy. We recommend like seniors or juniors as they're closer to graduation. It's on May 16th at 7.30 to 9 in the media center here. The boys took a dub against Salem, 5 to 1. Great hitting, boys. There's even better pitching by Andrew Abner, the Harvard commit. Hey, Novi. Girls lacrosse beat Canton 18 to 1 on Wednesday. Their next game is today against Northville. Good luck, girls. What's up, Novi? Your Valorant eSports team defeated the first seed of their competition, placing them third in their spring major of 2023. Good job, Wildcats. I took a heartbreaking overtime loss to Canton on Wednesday at 8 to 7. What's up, Novi? Last Tuesday, it was Novi versus Heartland. For the individual track events, Isabel Armstrong got first in the girls' 100 meters. Griffin Conway and Julian Liang got first and second in the boys' 800 meters. Anjali Kadambi and Tessa Long got first and second in the girls' 800 meters. Nathan Rittering, Soma Sato, and Ben Natick got first, second, and third in the boys' 1600 meters. Anjali Kadambi got first in the girls' 1600 meters. Nathan Rittering and Griffin Conway got first and second in the boys' 3200 meters. Meters. Abigail German and Anjali Kadambi got first and second in the girls' 3200 meters. Summer Angus, Natalie Young, and Nian Mackerel got first, second, and third in the girls' 100 meter hurdles. And Summer Angus and Nian Mackerel got first and second in the girls' 300 meter hurdles. For the relays, Novi got first in the boys' 4x100, girls 4x100, boys 4x200, girls 4x200, boys 4x400, girls 4x400, and the boys 4x800. For the field events, Creston Johnson and Cash Warren got first and second in the boys' discus. Audrey Wisnowski got first in the girls' discus. Tessa Long got first in the girls' high jump. Zach Kuzma got first in the boys' pole vault. Dagny Gulledge, Rook Sauer, and Tabitha Long got first, second, and third in the girls' pole vault. Timothy Reeves the second and Jordan Page got first and second in the boys' long jump. And Isabel Armstrong got first in the girls' long jump. Overall, the girls beat Heartland 91 to 45, while the boys beat Heartland 95 to 42. Great job. <laughs> God, Aiden, bro, why are you trying to dap him up, dude? No, I was dude. Really <laughs> Actually, can you do like a swing up like Sky does? <sighs> For information about the indoor track season, come to room 110 on November 22nd, Tuesday at 7.15 a.m. See you there. Back off. Hey, what are you doing? Don't make me force you out of here. John, 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 John. What are you listening to right now? Follow your boy John Barron on Instagram. Hi, Scott. What's good, Michael? How are you doing? No, I'm, I'm holding the door shut. You can't get in.